guys, it's Julius with Piper Principal here. And so, second monthly update. How have you been enjoying school so far? We're loving school. I'm having a great time. I believe that the students are also having a great time. Uh, the teachers are very excited still to do their thing with the students. And it, it is a wonderful time at the Bengal Nation. Uh, you know, we have football going on. We have the girls volleyball team playing. We have cross country going on. Uh, we have, uh, I just went recently to, the, to one of the meets of the swim team, the rebirth of the swim team. Since 2006, we haven't had a swim team here, and now we do. And when I went to a meet in Coral Springs, and I saw the Piper Bengals in the water swimming and competing. We already had a third place winner, which is unbelievable. The coach for the swim team, amazingly, is the former captain of the last swim team we had here at Piper High School. She was a student in 2006, and she was a member of that swim team, which was the last one we had here. So she's the coach, which makes it, makes it really, really special. Um, what else do we have going on? We have eSports out there, playing hard and winning competitions, and, uh, and everybody preparing for the next set of sports and activities. Something coming up that's, that's big, working from, working from November back, is the Harvest Drive. We're going to be a distribution center for the Harvest Drive, which is um, it's a program that is done through schools to collect food and items for those who need it most. So we will be able to collect not just among us at the school, but also from all of our feeder schools or the elementary schools and middle schools from around here. They'll be sending their stuff to us, and we will then distribute from the auditorium on two days. We will sort everything out and distribute for families that are identified as those who need, you know, whether it is food items, clothing items, even toys. And it's awesome because um, when you think about it, it gives us the ability to do something good for others. And just when you thought that we have a difficult, because I know that we have it at times difficult here in our own school, or my, my own kids, my own families here, I know we have it difficult at times. There are other people out there who have it even worse. So we're able then to use that program, the Harvest Drive, to do something for someone else. And you know, giving is great when it's easy. It's incredible when it's difficult. So when you give and it's difficult to give, the experience is completely different. And that's what we're going to do at the Bengal Nation. We're going to step forward and help those who need, who need it most. And that's going to happen in November, but I'm talking about it like in October because we're going to start now. As a matter of fact, the kickoff meeting is this afternoon at school. All the clubs will be involved in this. All the students will be involved. With that, coming up soon at the end of November, at the end of October, of course, we have a whole month of preparation for the homecoming dance. You know, homecoming happens at the end of October. So everybody get ready. I know that tickets are being sold in the commons. I believe they're $52 a piece. $55. 55 okay, 55 And it's going to be a great dance. It's going to give us an opportunity to get together outside of the building looking nice and getting ready and um, and having a, and having fun with each other and uh, that will be a uh, a whole entire month of uh, of activities towards of course the homecoming the homecoming dance the homecoming game homecoming week and uh and from what i understand we're going to have a homecoming pep rally and uh and we're going to use that pep rally as a reason to break things in you know uh we will have a pep rally uh, it's going to be in the auditorium we're going to have a pep rally in the auditorium in the gym, not in the auditorium. We'll have it in the gym. And those who want to participate in the uh, pep rally will bring something. I don't know, three canned goods or, or a box of, uh, of rice. I don't know, something that we can add to our collection as we get ready for the harvest drive. We will give everything a purpose, not just for fun, but also for others. Uh, aside from that, I know that the PSAT is coming up. And uh, that's very important. PSAT for everybody, all, all 10th graders, is PSAT on October 15th. Everybody takes the PSAT that, that day in the 10th grade class. And it's important because if you want to be a merit scholar, qualified as a merit scholar, you need to take the PSAT and then to take the SAT in 11th grade. And if you're not happy with the 11th grade SAT, you can take it again in 12th grade. But it's very important that we think about that as we uh, gear ourselves to college and career readiness, which like I always say, remember, if you're college and career ready, you get to make the choice. The choice is not made for you. And we want you guys to be a side of career ready, college ready. 
and that's part of taking the PSAT. I think I gave you a long answer to that question. <laughs> but I can go on. Ask me something else. What else? Okay. So a lot of kids have had a lot of things to say about Piper, Piper's new principal. Okay. Ooh. A lot of the I staff has taken a liking that guy. to you. A lot of them what? A lot of the staff is taking a liking to you. A lot of kids also. So what is your take on the people that you work around? My take on the people that I work around and the way they feel about me, it's uh, very humbling. Because the truth is, um, I know that we're all getting to know each other still. I mean, I'm, I, today is color, color war day. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and I'm wearing blue because theoretically I'm a sophomore because it's my second year here at Piper High. So I'm wearing my blue. So I'm still getting to know a lot of people, but it's humbling and I'm very, very exciting that people feel that way around, uh, around me. You know, I'm not doing anything different. This is who I am. This is what I do. I love to do what I do. I love to be around young people in a high school setting. Uh, I think I told you last time, I loved high school so much when I was mm -hmm. in high school that I needed to come back. So I'm back. I just never thought I would be a principal. And all of a sudden, <laughs> here I am. I'm the principal. It's incredible. There are some people saying hi. We always say hello through the window. Um, but it's just humbling. And, uh, and my take with those that I work with is that I have nothing but great things to say. You know, I, I've never seen a staff so committed to their students, you know, in, in good ways. You know, they want you to succeed. They want you to get good grades. They want you to do the right thing. But not just because they want, you know, a, a, a good letter grade for the school. They want it because know, they know that's what is right for the kids. So they believe in that. And I've never worked with a group of students that are, that are so appreciative about, about the things that are done for, with them and for them. You know, little things like the picnic tables and the umbrellas that we were talking about before. I mean, I didn't, I didn't think anything of it. And, and the students, you guys, are so appreciative about the fact that we took the time to think about how do we make the courtyard a little more user-friendly during lunchtime. And, and that means a lot because, you know, we work really hard to try to make your experience as a student in high school one that is good. There are a lot of challenging things in high school, but we try to add to your experience. And if these little things are is what, you know, adds to your experience, more power to it. And it just feels good when, when the students appreciate it. And you know how I notice it, too? is the commitment that the staff and the teachers have to their school. You know, we're doing the Bengal trifecta, you know. Be proud of who you are, wear your ID, you know. Um, uh, be accountable by being on time and prepare. Be professional by being properly dressed. And that is happening, you know. The, and anytime I can, I can thank someone for doing it, I'm going to do it. I stop people, hey, thanks for doing that. Thanks for doing this. Thanks for wearing your ID. Mine. It's okay. I lost it. But, like, but we do, we, I see the commitment. I see the commitment from the, the staff and the students. Not to mention, Dress for Success Wednesday. I mean, I love it. It's my favorite day of the week. We all come looking so good. Most of the kids do it. A lot of times kids take turns. They do one Wednesday, not the other. But they do. And we have classes out there that are 100% with the trifecta on Dress for Success Wednesday. That shows the type of commitment that people have in this building to the Bengal Nation, to the school. And that's very important. It actually speaks to the fact that we are part of something bigger than ourselves. It's not about Mr. Gomez, it's not about you, right? It's not about any teacher, it's about the whole school. And that's, that's what speaks to it. So I'm very humble and thankful that people, you know, act that way and believe, believe that way. Okay, last question, since you basically covered everything else in the first <laughs> two. Tomorrow marks the start of October, my birthday. Happy birthday. And Halloween is coming up. Uh-huh. Usually everyone goes out for Halloween. We all dress up to school and do all these crazy things on Halloween. So what crazy things are we doing? At just school we basically on Halloween? dress up, and it's like a bunch of like playing around because some people wear like costumes for princess movies, and okay. some people wear like the costumes as knights and stuff like that. And it's just like sometimes we act it all out, and it's quite funny. Right. I'll tell you no lie. So what do you think you could be planning for Halloween or anything? Or for Halloween, I'm a I want everyone to enjoy Halloween. Obviously, there is a decorum that we have to follow at school for safety. All right. So uh, I know I'm I'm wearing my costume, which is a tie that says Happy Halloween. That's that's my costume is. You're gonna be a principal for Halloween. Uh, You're gonna be a principal for Halloween. I'm gonna be a, which is very scary. I'm gonna be a principal. <laughs> that's, that's, think about that. And uh, but I do want people to enjoy that day. We're gonna set some guidelines. We're gonna send it out. 
Of course, we can wear masks and cover ourselves, you know, our faces and all that. But there has to be. But we can do some funny stuff, and we still need to go to class. We need, you know, we're not shutting down the building for Halloween. You know, we still need to go to class and do our things. And then at lunchtime, like we do when we do, you know, um, like Call of War days today, and when we do uh, Dress for Success, we'll take pictures and we'll send them out. You know, I'm, a, I love to tweet and share what all my kids are doing. So we're gonna celebrate. We'll just send out the guidelines so everybody knows what to expect and still enjoy the day and have a good day at school. But uh, absolutely, I, I think it will be a great day. It's a Friday. I believe it's a Friday mm-hmm. this year. It's a great opportunity. And then based on that, I'm, you know, I'm going to even walk around passing out candy, which is always good. Oh, I should do that this year. Okay. Thank you for the interview, and I hope you have a nice day. Thank you. And let me see my last message now. Before you go, remember that we are Bengals committed to respect, integrity, and dignity. And everything you do has to follow those three pillars, respect, integrity, and dignity. And thank you guys, all of you, for helping us with, uh, helping us look good by following the Bengal trifecta. With looking good, by being professionally dressed, being proud of who you are by wearing your ID, and remember, be accountable by being on time and prepared. Have a great day at the Bengal Nation, and come back. I'll talk to you in, I guess, one month from now. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs>